Oh, hi friends. Welcome to our Lake Point Kids online family experience. I'm Pastor Ethan and I thought I'd pop by and say hello. Actually, I was also hoping you could help me with something. You see, I just did something I know I shouldn't have done and now I don't know what to do. You see, I was in Miss Rachel's office to drop off some papers for her when I saw these delicious looking donuts on her desk. All 12 of them were my favorite kind of donut and I was feeling very hungry. And so even though I knew I shouldn't, I took a bite and they tasted so good and before I knew it, I took another bite and another and another until all that was left was, was just this. And I, I feel so bad and I, I know what I did was wrong, but I'm afraid when I go to tell Miss Rachel, she's just gonna be super mad at me and not wanna forgive me. Plus, I knew I shouldn't have eaten the donuts and I did anyways. I mean, does Jesus still love me even though I did something wrong? Oh, and oh, I have a stomach ache just thinking about all this and, and what do you think? Will I be forgiven for eating the donuts or will everyone call me a donut stealer and be mad at me forever? Oh, I need to I need to think about what I should do next. So while I go do that, why don't you go over to and visit Ollie at the clubhouse?
Nanny, my friends and I are having a party and Zoe's in charge of the cupcakes. She said they're all ready. I can't wait to see them. Are you ready? Count to three with me. One, two, three. Ta-da! What? Oh no! The cupcakes! All the frosting fell off. It's all on the lid. Zoe must have dropped them and not told anyone. These cupcakes are ruined. Look, no frosting. Look, all the frosting. This is awful, this is terrible. What are we gonna do? We can't have a party without awesome cupcakes. I can't believe Zoe did this. Ooh, ooh. Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ooh, ooh. Upset with one of your friends, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I think Zoe dropped the cupcakes and now they're almost stop. I see that you're mad. It's true. But Jesus can help you know what to do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ooh, ooh. Follow me through. Follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, Barkley wins. Oh, hi, I'm Carrie, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane, and her friend, Barkley. They were just having the best time playing tug of war, weren't you guys? <laughs> they love each other very much. Hey, that reminds me of a story. We've been learning that Jesus loves everyone, but there was once a man who wasn't sure if Jesus loved him. This true story from the Bible begins with a man named Zacchaeus. That's a fun name to say. Can you say that with me? Zacchaeus. One more time. Zacchaeus, good job. Zacchaeus was a tax collector. His job was to collect money from everyone in town. Let's count with Zacchaeus. Each person owes one coin. Ready? One, two, three, great. Wait, what is Zacchaeus doing? He's going back for more money? That's not right, those people already paid. But that's what Zacchaeus did. He took more money than he was supposed to, and he kept it for himself. It was wrong, and it made everyone mad at Zacchaeus. But one day, something wonderful happened. Jesus came to town. Everyone was so excited to see him. Zacchaeus was excited too, so he went to see Jesus. But there was one problem. Zacchaeus was too short to see Jesus over all the people. Maybe Zacchaeus could jump and see Jesus. Let's tell Zacchaeus to jump. Are you ready? Jump, 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 jump. Hmm, that's not working. Only there was something Zacchaeus could climb to see over all the people. Oh, a tree. Yes, Zacchaeus could climb the tree. Let's cheer him on, ready? Climb, climb, climb. Climb! Now Zacchaeus could see Jesus, and Jesus could see Zacchaeus. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, come down right away. I want to go to your house today. All the people thought, why would Jesus want to go with him? He has made so many bad choices. But do you think there is anything we can do to make Jesus stop loving us? <laughs> no, even if we get put in time out, does Jesus still love us? Yes, Jesus loves us no matter what. And Jesus loved Zacchaeus even though he had made bad choices. Zacchaeus was so happy that Jesus loved him and was his friend that he gave back all the money he took from the people. <laughs> wow, Jesus loved Zacchaeus and Jesus loves you too. Jesus loves everyone. <laughs> Let's celebrate because Jesus loves everyone. <laughs> oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who does Jesus love? Jesus loves everyone. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. 
So there's your story. And it's all true. Zacchaeus did something wrong. But Jesus loved him and loves me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Jesus loved Zacchaeus even though he made bad choices. Jesus loves everyone. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Zoe's my friend, and even though she messed up the cupcakes, I know Jesus still loves her, and I love her too. You know, I think I can fix these. Oh, you put the frosting back on. Yes! I'll see you guys next time. Everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Good news, friends. I talked to Miss Rachel and I admitted I had uh, what I had done and I said I was sorry and offered to buy her another dozen donuts and, and she said she forgave me. How great is that? And then I overheard the story today of Zacchaeus and, and Jesus and learned that Jesus loves me no matter what, just like he loved Zacchaeus. I mean, Zacchaeus had done some pretty bad things. He, he lied and stole from people. And when Jesus came to town, Zacchaeus climbed up into a tree to see him, but he never thought Jesus would want to spend time with him or love him because all the wrong things he had done. But Jesus surprised him and told Zacchaeus to come down from the tree, and he wanted to go to Zacchaeus' house. Zacchaeus was shocked. Jesus wanted to spend time with him. Jesus loved him. Zacchaeus was so happy that Jesus wanted to be his friend, he decided to pay back everything he took from people and even gave them extra money as an apology. Friends, that story teaches us that Jesus loves us no matter what. Even when we make wrong choices, even when we do bad things, Jesus still loves us. He doesn't want us to make wrong choices, but he will always love us. What wonderful news. I'm so thankful that Jesus loves me no matter what. I think I'll go out and buy Miss Rachel two dozen donuts. Today, friends, I want you to bundle up and head outside for a few minutes. I want you to run over to each tree you have in your yard and say, Jesus loves me no matter what. If you don't have a tree, that's okay. You can run over to each shrub or plant or even each window and even ask your family members to spread out and pretend to be trees for you. Parents, now's the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the LakePoint app to fill out our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who's watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest LakePoint initiatives and opportunities. So kids, while your parents do that, why don't you go and grab your coats and boots? <laughs>
as well. Feel free to enjoy our earlier family experience episodes on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the family resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. Miss Rachel, we'll see you next week, same time, same place. Remember, Jesus loves you no matter what.